Hey guys, welcome to this small session uh, uh, analysis on GBP AUD. Uh, it's Monday, the 18th of February, and this is one of the setups that I can see having potential. So let's try to break down the price action and for you guys to focus on this breakdown and try and understand the reasoning, rationality behind it. And I'll say this again. It doesn't really matter if setups opens up in our direction. What matters is that are your technical analysis right at the time of its formation? When the time you was conducting that analysis, was you technically correct? Uh, let's get started. Um, I'm not going into detail on my levels, uh, but as you can see from the monthly chart, we are in a bullish trend. Price has been making a higher higher formation and a higher low formation. A higher low formation, as you can see. Uh, last week, the two weeks ago, the price rejected at 17400 and went higher and if you remember the analysis i shared we capitalized on this for nearly 450 pips though this move was more than an 800 pips move now strong bullish momentum here last week uh, last month the candles we had the price came back with traces accumulated buyers and went up again you can see the moving averages acting as support here so uh, Looking at the price action on the monthly, my question is I'm not expecting the price to take out the low of the price. Now let's break it down onto the weekly. You can see the price has been in a neat bullish market structure and a clean one. Uh, we are sitting at just below that weekly resistance, but I am expecting the price to break this and go up to 1.8864. That's what I'm expecting. Let's try and understand this. So uh, it's a rising wedge, and last week I shared the analysis, if you guys remember, uh, which I'll discuss without explaining you, I did share the analysis last week, where I said that I am expecting the price to retrace first before it goes higher. And as you can see, we had an exact retracement of last week. Now. I've been in a buy trade since yesterday, but I'll explain the reason for it and so that you can understand reasons, but that's what I'm expecting. The price to first target is at 1.883, and then the next target is at 1.8475, that's a double high uh, top formation, and Eventually, my expectation is that the price will see at 1.8650. And we see how the price develops. Again, these are the projection levels, and that's not how we trade. We, of course, follow the price action, keeping in mind the institutional levels on them. Now, so what I'm expecting from this is that the price carries on. I can, we can see an, a lot of accumulation here as far as buyers are concerned. Moving average nicely acting as support, giving fuel, giving momentum to this price action. And this, this retracement is pretty much like a wedge uh, or, or a bullish flag formation. And let's go on to the daily chart. I did share this analysis with my students on the Telegram channel and a complete breakdown. So uh, there we are. Let's mark some levels to shape it up. You can see how the price 
when uh, forms a high high formation a high low formation a high high formation the price came back in again and then went up well i am personally expecting the price to carry on this trend it looks good moving average yesterday or acting as resistance but i was pretty certain the price will go higher and today we already are 64 pips in profit and you can see moving average in also begin to act as support and it seems all we have to do is to break this bridge of weekly resistance at 1.8130 if the price breaks this then i'm expecting the price to carry on so that's what i'm expecting the price to carry on first target second target and these are the third targets so looking good you can add confluences to your analysis so you would be waiting for the price to break this and retest before it carries on that will add fuel to this analysis so that that's how i would classify this as an extremely So you can see clearly the price has left the bearish zone and it forms in high high formation. That's where my entry was. A nice rejection with the doji formation. 86 pips move already in 64. Well, I am expecting the price to retrieve over a little before it carries on. So uh, my strong advice for this week is guys try and trade uh, the bullish direction try to get into the trade at an every high low formation presented to you based on the strategies that you use in terms for execution but as far as the trading setup is concerned it's 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 looking uh, pretty good and i can give you the risk and reward ratios for this for this trading setup That's at least to begin with. Um, let's say, let's for instance, let's say the price comes back. It's not a sell. Wait for the price to accumulate buyers here before it carries on to the upside again. So in any retracement, don't get scared. There's nothing bearish about this price action. You are in a bullish zone. All you need is to maximize on any opportunity presented to you when the price retraces. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, last week, we have done analysis on GJ and it directly went to your direction for giving us more than 120 pips. Go and watch the video on YouTube. And this week, that's one of the setups I've seen and it looks promising if, 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 if I see more trading setups uh, during the course of this week about sharing them and trying to break it down for you guys so you guys can take advantage of them. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the session.